What's up guys, this is Andrew from Tom Goods Media. First of all, uh, I hope everybody's at home, uh, everybody's doing well, and uh, please stay at home, please don't risk it. It's a very serious uh, thing happening right now in the world. I hope you yourself do your part and just stay at home. I know this is a very difficult time for everybody, but I think this is gonna be a temporary thing, obviously, and we just have to keep praying, we just have to keep doing our part, and uh, I think everything will be okay. For today's video, I'm going to be making pork binagoongan express. Yeah, you heard it right. Two recipes in one dish. I don't really see why you can't do two recipes at one time. You know, I think they're both similar in a way. Like binagoongan just has bagoong and Bicol Express has that doesn't have bagong but sometimes you can put i don't know i don't make the recipes i'm just making something up right now just to uh, spice things up <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed this recipe and yeah let's get started all right so it's gonna be an easy peasy lemon squeezy recipe let's start off by preparing our vegetables for sauteing the exact measurements will be posted down below in the description slice some red onions and slice them as thin or as thick as you want it doesn't really matter peel and chop garlic at this point, my eyes are getting watery from all the onions plus the garlic. Peel and thinly slice some ginger and make sure they're big enough so that people don't accidentally mistake it for meat. And lastly, slice a tomato with a sharp n- Oh, shoot. Sorry. Slice a tomato with a sharp n <sighs> You know what? Just slice it. Now let's repair our pork belly. I do apologize because I too am cringing on how dull my knife is. But just try to slice your pork belly into even pieces. Once everything is ready, you can start on our pork binagoongan express. In a hot wok, drop oil and saute your vegetables, except the garlic. Make sure that the veg turn translucent before adding the garlic. We do this so that the garlic doesn't burn easily. Now, add the garlic and saute until everything is soft. Add your bagong and mix it well. Cook for about a minute and add the pork and mix. Let's add our fish sauce, followed by the vinegar and some sugar. Let it sit for a minute and now you can cover this and let it cook in low heat for around 1 hour and 30 minutes or until the pork is nice and tender. After letting it cook for the said amount of time, if you're happy and you know it, clap your... Oh, wait, I'm sorry, this is wrong. If you're happy with your tenderness of the pork, you can now add your coconut milk and let this simmer gently covered for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is best served with a cup of steaming hot rice and some fried eggplant. And I can't justify the word express at the end of the recipe if I don't add some chili to the dish, which I did. And if you're asking why there isn't any video of me preparing any of this, I'd rather you guys not see me shoot and portrait. Dumbass. Sprinkle some garlic bits if you have some at home and sauce up the rice cause you know for a fact that that rice is calling out for some delicious bogoongi coconut milky porky sauce. Oh, that was really hard to say. And now we can give it a try. Alright, so our dish is done. Uh, it's time to taste it. Honestly, I don't not really good with spicy food, but uh, we'll try it for now. So this is best eaten with talong. You gotta make sure you get everything in one bite. So it tastes exactly what I said it was gonna taste like, tastes like bago, binagoongan and Bicol Express at the same time. And it works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tom Goods Media. Don't forget to share this to your friends. And until next time guys, always stay safe. Bye.